water, drink. Oh. Woo, guys, that was kind of ridiculous. Oh. Wow. Okay, right, guys, guess what? My name's N One Platinum, A.K.A. Also known as Dragon Duel Sky on Dev Pro. Okay, now today what I got for you all right here is 10 unopened packs of Judgment of the Light right here. Yeah, they're all first edition. They're nice. When this set came out, they had Star Eater, Susuano, and oh man, there's another card in here. I don't remember. But anyway, there's some really nice cards in this set. Okay, now just want to let you all know that this is one of my first videos on YouTube. I'm hoping that you guys will like this stuff, subscribe and like. And also, I don't just open up card packs, I also open up uh, special like Revel Tech action figures and whatnot, ones that cost like $70 off of eBay. And here's one right now for you guys right here, woo! Oh yeah, this right here, if you've ever seen Gurren Lagann, is La Zengon. Oops, wrong side. <laughs> Yep, La Zengan, he's pretty sweet. He's basically the first bad guy of season one, but he basically ends up being like an anti hero by the end of the series, which is pretty epic, you know, because I actually like anti heroes more than someone, say, like Superman, because nobody's ever actually that selfless and all that crap. It's kind of hypocritical, if you ask me, but nothing against people who actually, you know, like those characters or like their standards, because heck, we should all have standards like that. Or not standards, but role models, yeah. See, so here he is comes in here like this one I have already opened just because you know I like this character so much okay see you get these cool little drills you know the whole series is actually about spirals not spoil anything I guess I'm not because it's mentioned in the first episode but yeah basically these things they're like 70 bucks and they're only from Japan and yeah oh, yeah basically they normally all have oh it's kind of out of focus sorry there let me focus it for you there you go yeah basically um, they are Usually all of their joints are these cool Revel Tech things. See if I can get a close-up of that. No, not really. But it's a specific thing to them. Their joints, basically, if you can hear it, I'm not sure if you can. It goes click, click, click. Yep. And there are many points. These are basically posable statues. That's why I bought it originally. Like, you can make them all epic and everything. This is only one of them. They do come with this thing over here. It's like a stand. You just piece that together, basically it connects into his kind of, I wouldn't call this a tail because he kind of uses it like an axe and like a spear and stuff like that. I guess you could call it one because it's sticking out of his ass, but anyway. Um, yeah, it connects to here, so he's floating in the air. You can have him, you know, do any kind of pose you want while he's floating. Kind of like ones where, oh, there was his hand again. He's, it's this, this guy's special because he doesn't have the normal Revel Tech wrist joints, but it's only because his wrists are so thin in the show they had to do it that way. You can still pivot. And it's enough. I mean, this is still my favorite one that Revel Tech pumps out. But, you know, he'll be floating in midair, and you can make him do this kind of thing. Like that, yeah. But anyway. I'll, oh, yes, I forgot to mention earlier, I also do anime reviews. Cool anime reviews. <laughs> but anyway, to another thing. Okay, guys. Now, back to the packs. You guys will get to see him. Now, just so you guys know, I'm going to go through these as quickly as I can, but really only stopping with a rare card that isn't just rare, it's like a super, I'll just, I'll mention the name of the rare card. Okay, let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Aha, Bolomong. Rest is trash. Not to everybody. There are actually some common cards that pop up that are like Fiend Comedian I just listed on eBay and sold it for four bucks. And who knows how old that card freaking was. I think that was from, oh, ooh, Trap Tricks Atrax, nice. One of the top 16 decks, I think. Made it really high up there. Not that bad. Pretty awesome rare. Um, I believe Fiend Comedian was like Legacy of Darkness, I believe, L-O-D. Okay, and, uh... Okay, I got Brotherhood of the Fire Fist. I'm not really that much of a Fire Fist player. I hate Bear with a passion. 
I mean, I'm really all for Konami banning cards that have to do with just basically the deck is is basically by modern standards it isn't nearly as competitive as it was once. Moon Dance Ritual. <laughs> Uh, it's basically not nearly as competitive as it used to be, but Bear's the only really competitive card left in the deck. So basically you're loading it up with cards like Tanky that have been in it in the past, historically. Archie Labyrinth, it isn't good so far. These are just packs I pulled off the shelf. These aren't off, and these aren't from a case or anything like that. I just picked them up at a local Walmart. My commons are falling over here. Yep, bought it from a Walmart. And basically, you can kind of use this video as reference of just what you can expect if you just buy 10 packs from Walmart instead of just ordering a case off the internet. Archfiend Emperor. I've been meaning to build an Archfiend deck, actually. I mean, you guys can hit me up on DevPro. I mean, welcome to be challenged. I might actually post, probably, I'll be doing videos once a week, starting off, but... Ooh, hoo, hoo, trap tricks, trap hole nightmare. I sold one of these on eBay for like 12 bucks. That is a nice card. I'm putting it here so you guys can kind of ogle it. You can see it over my hands or under my hands. Uh, there, just so you know it's there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's a nice card to pull with the trap tricks. Eight tracks. <laughs> that's not too bad. She had a buddy. And I didn't know. Okay. Mm, Masquerade 104. Nothing else. But like I was saying, yeah, I'll probably be posting my Dragon Ruler hand deck. It's basically Dragon Rulers except with the hands in it. It's actually pretty clever. I mean, if you misplay it at all, which is very easy to do. Ooh, Clausius. Very nice rank 3. I've actually used him in a couple of my decks on Dev Pro. He's a hollow, so I'll put him over here. Use him in a couple of my decks in Dev Pro. And he doesn't do too bad. Man, this isn't good. I've opened up 10 packs and I've only got two hollows. This is pretty sad. Man, I mixed up my comments with my rares. Okay, let's hope I get a secret here. That'd be the only redeemable value out of this whole thing. That is so sad. Okay, let's go. Let's see. Da, 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 da. And... No rare? Oh, phew. <laughs> okay, you guys probably noticed that, but I didn't. I mean, I kind of had tunnel vision there. Uh, Bush Incarnation, great card. I've been thinking about making a Bush deck, but eh, maybe, maybe not. Okay, for recap, what we have here are these two: Clausius and Trapple Trap Tricks Nightmare. These are two. This is a decent card. This is an epic card. This is a card that you can run three of, and you will not regret it. I mean, run this along with I think a Bottomless and two DD trap holes and you're actually pretty darn set crap this video is about over eight minutes it's funny i originally intended for this video to only be like two minutes long but i'm just having so much fun with you guys i guess i'm just taking my time and i'm really enjoying it i really am okay we got for the rares i know i'll just read over these but i'll just show them to you okay it's not that much okay remember my name is and one platinum bye oh yeah